ideas of candidates running for the 2015-2016 Student Council. Candidates will present short speeches outlining their ideas and introducing themselves to the student body. I will briefly outline their role as well as list the candidates that are running for the position to start in September. The job of the junior representative is to represent the junior grades at all student sorry, at all student council meetings and assist the publicity representative in promoting school events. The candidates for junior representative are Sierra Beltrano, Emerson Suarez, and Charlton Wilson. We will first hear from Sierra Beltrano. Morning, Gales. I'm Sierra Beltrano, and I'm running for the position of junior rep on the 2015-2016 student council. From the first time I came to Cathedral in grade 7, I was so intimidated by how big the school is. Even during my first week of grade 9, I couldn't find any of my classes, I only knew about 10 people, and I thought that a gale was a bird. After these embarrassing and nerve-wracking moments, I've learned to love Cathedral, and I knew I was a true gale. Having these experiences will help me better represent the junior grades next year. Cathedral is such an amazing school, but if you elect me, I know that I can make your next year at CHS better and brighter. I'm ready to contribute as much as I can to this school, and I promise that your voice will be heard, your ideas will be shared, and that I will proudly represent you in the coming year. Vote for someone who will be with you every step of the way. Vote Sierra for Junior Rep. Thank you. Thank you, Sierra. Now we will hear from Emerson Suarez. Good morning, Cathedral. My name is Emerson Suarez, and I want to be your junior representative for the year 2015 and 2016. I feel I'd be an awesome junior rep because of my never-ending authentic energy, respectful and open-minded spirit, and my unique taste and creativity. I strongly believe I am humble and responsible enough to be your junior representative. I, honestly, I also honestly think I can effectively represent the juniors of next year and what we're all about, but I also understand that teamwork is a key to victory and that this spot is not a one-man show. As junior representative, I can guarantee to listen to anyone's ideas because I know everyone has a voice that wants to be heard. And believe me, I will work at 100% to execute what we want to see done. I will also support things that all students have been wanting to see happen, such as more spirit warrior days, more civic days, and things of that nature. But if we want those things to occur, we have to work together and work for that change. So please, vote for me, Emerson Suarez, as your 2015-2016 junior representative, and let's make change together. Next, we will hear from Charlton Wilson. <laughs> Hi, Gales. I'm Charlie, and I'm running for junior rep. And uh, if you elect me, I will try my hardest to be a great junior rep. I will try to exceed the amount of effort in completing tasks that past junior reps have put in. I will keep great deportment and responsible conduct. And finally, I will always put in 110% into any of my responsibilities as a junior rep. Thanks, Gales. Thank you, Charlton. The job of senior representative is to represent the senior grades at all student council meetings and to assist the various council members as required. This year, the candidates for senior rep are Tatiana Solano and Kathleen Villaflor. First, let's hear from Tatiana Solano. Hey Gales, my name is Tatiana Solano. I'm a grade 11 student and I'm confident that I'm the ideal candidate for senior representative. I really want to get involved in the school next year and I think student council is the perfect thing for me. I have all the qualities to fill the shoes of our current senior reps, and I look forward to working with everyone. I'm going to give it my all because next year is my last year, and I want to be part of helping create memories. I want to represent the senior grades and the soon-to-be seniors in the best way possible to make sure that their last year is a great one. I love this school, and I want everyone to feel the same way. I know I can make a positive difference here at Cathedral, so be happy and vote for Tati. Thank you, Tatiana. Next, you will hear from Kathleen Villaflor. Hey, Gales, it's me, Kathleen, and I want, I'm running to be your next senior up. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet, just like myself. You may think she's kind of short and kind of young to be your senior up, but don't let that fool you. I am full of energy, outgoing, and I also have great ideas to bring to you, the student body. I can't promise you CV stay or spirit rare days, but I can promise fun ideas that I know you guys will love. Not only I am short and sweet, but I can also dance. Me and the rest of student council will put together amazing dances for you guys to enjoy. So hey, let me be the one to lead your senior year. Thank you. Thank you, Kathleen. 
The job of the athletic representative is to work with the vice presidents in organizing pep rallies and special athletic events such as athletic assemblies to publicize the athletic teams and encourage fan spirit. The male athletic candidates are Sebastian Riviera Alfonso and Michael Samanda. Let's first hear from Sebastian Riviera Alfonso. Good morning, Gales. Let's all become a true blue team and vote for me, Sebastian Rivera, as male athletic rep. With me as male athletic rep, pep rallies will make you feel like a true blue fan because I got the right game plan. Gales, believe in my team player experience and I'll be the next, I'll make the big next, I'll make the next big shot, pass or spike you want to see. So Gales, have a great day and don't delay and vote for me. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. Now let's hear from Michael Samanda. Hi, my name is Michael Samanda, and I'm running to be athletic rep for the 2015-2016 school year. I believe that I'm qualified to be the athletic rep because sports are a very big part of my life. I play and enjoy pretty much every sport, but I especially enjoy baseball and basketball. I play baseball not only at Cathedral, but at a provincial level for an elite rep team. Plus, I play basketball for Cathedral, and I've won two city championships. I play sports at a high level, so you can guarantee that I'll be pushing myself above and beyond for you guys. As a student athlete, I can relate to all of you, and I would love the chance to provide you with an amazing athletic year. If you elect me to be athletic rep, you certainly won't regret it. Vote Michael Smando for athletic rep. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. The female athletic candidates are Sarah DaCosta, Shikina Kianan Satuko, and Brianna Lynn Pinto Briero. Let's first hear from Sarah DaCosta. Hey, Gales. My name is Sarah DaCosta, and I'd like to thank you for considering me as next year's female athletic representative. Since my first year attending Cathedral High School, I have been a proud True Blue Gale. I would love to be Cathedral's next year's female athletic representative for many reasons. I feel that I can relate to many student athletes because I too share the same passion and dedication one has when taking part in a school sport. I know how difficult it is to balance school sports, academics, a job, and any other extracurricular activities when being a student athlete. But I can guarantee that I will try my hardest to make next year easier for you. I will be here to give advice from my own personal experiences and help you tackle any task at hand. I myself haven't always been the best at sports, but with help from my friends and family, I started to believe in myself and began to take more risks. I would never have joined the sports I am in today if it wasn't for the people who supported me throughout high school. I hope that with my help, I can be that person who supports you throughout high school and encourages you to take risks. So vote Sarah DaCosta for your 2015 to 2016 female athletic representative. Thanks, Sarah. Now let's hear from Shakina Kianan Satuko. Hey, Cathedral. My name is Shakina Kiana. I'm in grade 10 and I'm running to be your athletic rep. I consider myself a good candidate for this position because I believe I meet the necessary criteria to become this school's uh, athletic rep. Firstly, I am very athletic myself. I've been a member and captain of on the Sea girls basketball team throughout my grade 9 and 10 year, as well as a captain for the midget and junior volleyball team. And I'm also a member of Gale Guides and Step Squad. I also perform high performance basketball competitively outside of school for my rep team called Blessed Sacrament. In addition to this, I enjoy playing uh, soccer, badminton, football, and running track. I believe my involvement in helping the school become successful is in our, in our specialties, and my experience in high-level sports is one of many reasons why you should pick me to be your athletic rep. Secondly, I am very easygoing, reliable, productive, and hardworking. I love bringing new ideas to the table, and with my friendly and approachable personality, I am open, considerate to all ideas and suggestions you might have. I want nothing but the best for this school, and I believe I would be a great asset in helping this school excel in athletic events. In conclusion, a good candidate is someone who will bring some, something new, different, and fun to this school, which is exactly what I would contribute if you choose me to be your athletic rep. So make the right choice, Gales, and vote for Shakina as your athletic rep. Thank you. Thank you, Shakina. Lastly, let's hear from Brianna Lynn Pinto Briero. Good morning, Gales. I'm Brianna, and I'm running for the position of female athletic rep for the year 2015-2016. Now, I want to start off by saying that if I am elected athletic rep, I plan on helping to make 2015-2016 the best and most exciting year yet. 
by making sure that pep rallies, biots, dances, etc., are filled with cathedral spirit and positive energy so that everyone can enjoy these events. My leadership skills and passion for athletics, along with academics, will assist me to ensure that no event is boring. Not only that, Gales, but I have plenty of ideas for new, trendy, and comfortable spirit wear for everyone. So I just want to say that if I'm elected, I will try my very best not to disappoint, since I also want 2015-2016 to be the best year yet. Stay rad, Gales, bleed blue, and vote Brianna. Thank you. Thank you, Brianna. The job of the publicity representative is to publicize all student council events to, this council to the student body, including outdoor signboards and electronic message boards, as well as help organize event decorations. The publicity rep candidates are Hannah Hagen and Vivian Nguyen. Let's start off by hearing from Hannah Hagen. Hey, Cathedral. My name is Hannah Hagen, and I am running for the position of your publicity rep. If I were to be elected for this position, one of the main I jobs I would be involved in is creating banners and posters in order to publicize the many school events Cathedral holds. I feel that I am well suited for this position because of the artistic abilities I hold and also the experience with art I have for many years. Some of the experience I included involves taking classes here at Cathedral such as art, photography, and graphics, participating in the art club after school, and also volunteering experiences. I also like to draw and paint on my free time because it will improve on my abilities. Not only do I possess artistic qualifications, but also many new and creative ideas for next year. One of the ideas I had in mind for next year was having more events involving teachers versus students. Having the chance to be next year's publicity rep would mean a lot to me, especially if I could like show all my art on you know, the walls and stuff like that. I feel like that would be pretty amazing. Um, also, there is a possibility in the future where I will continue to do art, so this position will teach me many new things and more experiences. I will work hard to finish all the jobs given to me, even if that means staying up late that night. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to be part of student council, and don't forget, vote for Hannah. Thanks, Hannah. Now let's hear from Vivian Nguyen. Hi, Gales. I'm Vivian Nguyen, and I want to be your publicity rep. Okay. As your publicity rep, I'll be in charge of creating art and banners that will be displayed throughout the school. I enjoy being creative, and it'd be amazing if you, the voters, could give me the opportunity to be your publicity rep for the next year. I will prove to you that not only do I want this position, I deserve it as well. I can promise that I will do my best to make your 2015-2016 school year a beautiful year. Thank you, and vote for Vivian. Thanks, Vivian. The job of the social convener is to be responsible for organizing all social events, aid the publicity rep in decoration at events, organize bookings, and ticket distribution. The candidates are Apolina Mukangilwa, Cree Powell, and Samita Single. First, let's hear from Apolina Mukangilwa. Uh, good morning, respected teachers and my dear friends. First, I would like to say a very big good luck to my fellow candidates up here. For those who do not know me, I'm a Polina Mkungila. And for those that do, well, I guess you're the lucky ones. Today I stand before you because I'm running for the school social convenience for the upcoming year. I would like, you, I'd like to tell you all a little bit about me. I'm a well-organized person. I spend my free time outside of school helping prepare special occasions such as weddings, birthday parties, baby showers, and engagement party. Have and have enjoyed every moment of it. Doing all this gives me tons of experience for the position of social convener. I would like to become the, school new, the new school social convener to ensure that the school events stay as great as they are for the next year I'll be attending school and the, and the many years after I leave. I would also, I would thoroughly try my very best to make them even better. Given the experience from the events I've organized in the past, I've organized in the past. I have creative ideas that I believe I could contribute to the upcoming year. I'm not running for this position to benefit myself, but to benefit school, the school and make it and forgettable years with many memories. I promise that with my leadership, you'll have one of the best experience on school events. I'm a fresh face with a lot of new ideas that could become a reality as part of Cathedral. But of course that will happen with the votes from you. Vote for me, and let's have fun for the next school year, 2015-2016. Thanks, and God bless you. Thanks, Apolina. 
Now let's hear from Cree Powell. Hey girls, as you know, I'm running for the position of social convener. As a social convener on student council, you're required to be outgoing, organized, and friendly, which I meet the criteria. If you vote me to be part of the student council for 2015-2016, I assure you our dances and events will be much more exciting. I'll provide amazing DJs, beautiful halls, and much more. I'll also include any ideas that you fellow girls have. If I am voted into this position, I'll try my hardest for more spirit activities. I'll try my best to not disappoint you guys, but trust me, it'll be the best for both you and I. So remember, vote Cree for Social Convener. Thank you. Thanks, Cree. Lastly, let's hear from Samita Single. Hey guys, I'm Samita. I'm in grade 11, and I want to be your social convener for next year's student council. Social convener plans and organized dances. I know that dances are a huge part of high school and therefore should be fun, organized, and, but most of all, memorable. I know that I'm not supposed to make any promises, but I will make one. If voted as next year's social convener, I promise all of you that I will work to the best of my abilities to make sure that these dances are fun and well organized. Although, in order for me to keep this promise, I need all of you to vote for me. Next year is going to be my last year at CHS, so this is my one and only chance to offer you guys the best and one and only chance for you to choose the best. For those who have had good experience at Formal so far, vote me and it will stay that way. For those who haven't had such great experience at Formal so far, I accept the challenge to change that. Overall guys, vote I, Samita, for social convener and let's make next year one of the best ones. Thanks guys, bye. Thank you, Samita. The job of the treasurer is to maintain records of all financial matters related to student council and assist other members as necessary, particularly during event ticket sales. The treasurer reports the final position of the council at every meeting. The candidates are Alexandra Deneen and Veronica Domet. First, let's hear from Alexandra Deneen. Good morning. I'd like to start off with a joke. Have you heard of the new dance called The Elevator? It has no steps. <laughs> Thank you. Just like an elevator, I will elevate the standards for what a treasurer should be. The only difference is that I'm no joke. I'm extremely qualified to become next year's treasurer. You want math skills? I've got all the math skills necessary to handle money. In fact, last year I achieved top scores in several math contests and the top mark in the math course. Of course, when cash rolls everything around you, you need more than just math skills. It just so happens that I'm also good with money. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, I'm clearly qualified to become treasurer. So vote for me and your wildest dreams will come true. Thanks, Alexander. Now let's hear from Veronica Domet. Hey Gilds, over the last week you may have seen my face on $100 bills all over the school. But if you didn't, I'm Veronica Domet and I'm running to be your treasurer for next year's student council. At first I wasn't exactly sure what a treasurer's job was, but after asking people with past experiences, I have the perfect job description. The treasurer's job is to finance, so this means that I will make sure that the money that student council has goes where it needs to and where it belongs. Also, I will keep student council updated on the current money balance. I know you're probably thinking that this job is easy and anybody can do it, but I know that I am the perfect person for this job and nobody will do it with as much enthusiasm as I will. Remember, you can count on me, so make sure you vote Veronica for treasurer. Thank you. Thanks, Veronica. The job of the vice president is to take over the duties of the president in his or her absence and to work in cooperation with the president in all student council activities, in particular student council assemblies. The candidates for the Vice President positions are Brody Doherty, Kyle Fernandez, and Giovanna Marzucco. First, let's hear from Brody Doherty. Hello, everybody. You might uh, want to pop a squat for this one. All right, I'm Brody Doherty. I'm running for Vice President. You might not have seen any of my posters around. That's just because, you know, I care about the environment and I don't want to waste any paper. Uh, so, you know what? I'm a good guy. I've been on council for a while now. I know how the river flows. You guys know how I roll. And uh, if you vote for me, you'll receive some pretty decent ideas for upcoming events and some terrible jokes. 
if anyone else has any questions about uh, the, what I can do for you, what I can do for the school, ladies, you can hit me up on Twitter at Brody Doherty 11. I'll answer all of your questions. All right. <laughs> and fellas, uh, you can hit me up too. Thank you. Vote for me. Thanks, Brody. Now let's hear from Kyle Fernandez. Good morning, Cathedral. No, no, wait. Don't have a good morning. Have a great morning. Because why settle for good when you can make it great? Why have mediocre when you can make it extraordinary? This year was good, but next year is going to be great. I will make sure it's the best it can be. Nothing less than extraordinary. I might be a small guy, but you know what? Big things come in small packages. And I'm the best small, small package for this job. With me as vice president, you will see incredible improvements ASAP, Rocky. There will be no slacking, no holding back. I've already set goals and made plans to achieve them. So I'm not just speaking the change, I will be making the change. I want to make our school events better than ever. I aim to bring back classic CHS events like the Moskers, Pie in the Face, and Candy Grams. In addition, I'd like to make our charity events as successful as possible to make a bigger difference in the world as a community. And most importantly, I would like to introduce spectacular new events like free throw competitions, video game tournaments, a car wash, prom, raffles, and way more. A vote for me is a vote for you. I care about each and every one of you. By the end of the day, it'll be a done deal, and next year will be great, you feel? So let's make it real. Do yourselves a favor, do your friends a favor, do your teachers a favor, do your school a favor. Help make 2015-2016 at CHS legendary. Elect Kyle Fernandez for vice pres, and nothing will be the same. Thank you. Thanks, Kyle. Lastly, let's hear from Giovanna Marzucco. Hi, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Giovanna Marzucco, or should I say, your next vice president. As your vice president, I will assure you that I will try my hardest to fit any of your needs. I am super outgoing and easy to talk to, so don't be shy to ever approach me for anything related to council or not. I'm here to make this amazing school even better than it already is. Even though I can't make any promises, I am determined to be the best vice president CHS has ever had. For those of you who do not know, the name's Giovanna or Gio. I like to rhyme, I love to cheer. Your next VP is standing here. Check off my name and put me to the test. I'll prove in the end I'm better than the rest. So remember this name. I'm Giovanna, so vote for me. I know you wanna. Thanks, Giovanna. Now that the speeches are done, it is your time to go over the voting process. The junior classes will receive a junior ballot and will vote for two choices for junior rep. The senior classes will vote for only one senior rep. All students will vote for two vice presidents. After voting, the ballots are to be collected by the teacher and they are to be returned to the main office as soon as possible in a sealed envelope. Students in morning co-op and those without a period one class can vote in the main office until 12 o'clock p.m. After all ballots are collected, they will be counted and candidates will be called to the chapel as soon as results are tabulated. Then we will broadcast the election results live to each class at the end of fifth period today. Remember, your vote should go out to not, not to who you think is the most popular person, but to the person who you think will do the best job and who will make the most positive influence on your school year. Teachers, please ensure that this is a secret ballot. Students must use pencil on the ballot scantron sheets. If students place marks incorrectly, their ballot will be considered void. Students, please read the instructions on the scantron carefully. Teachers, with your ballots, you received a class list. Any student names that are crossed out on this list do not get a ballot because they are not returning to Cathedral in September or they have not registered to be a Cathedral student in September. Teachers, please seal the envelope immediately after voting and send it to the main office as soon as possible. It's time to vote. Good luck to all the candidates and thanks for watching. <laughs>